guys, so I know this, I don't know where I'm going to put this here. Let me move this out of the way first. So, yes, yeah, so I know I do, like, I said I do, like, a real video of me reacting to the, uh, to the actual, um, sorry, to the actual trailer of the new season eight. Well, I made a video, and then I forgot to post it. So, I'm just posting this so I don't have to do any special things. Woo! <laughs> so, I'm gonna, this is gonna be like a short thoughts on video, kind of. So, the, I'm not very good at these. <laughs> so, the whole, like, theme this, uh, this season is, um, like, gangster JDM type of theme. And, uh, oh my god, I don't care. And, um, what's it called? And, like, we're getting a new car, obviously, like we do every single time. Um, this time, instead of, like, some random fictional car, this year we're getting, or, I don't know why I said this year, this season we're getting a Civic Type R, which I wish I had, like, a picture or something right here. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up finding one or something. I don't know. Probably not. I'm not probably going to edit this video. But it looks really good. I think in the thumbnail, I think I'm going to make a real thumbnail this time because I'm not really reacting. I'm just going to show, like, the car, probably, hopefully, if I remember. But, um, yeah, anyway, so, um, it looks really good. So, there's actually two versions of that car, which I think is really cool. So, the Type R, like, what we're getting... So we're getting like a normal, boring, not any upgrades version. And we're getting another one with all the upgrades applied. I don't know if this is going to be like, yeah, the basis and then the added stuff, which I think they might do. Um, the, it looks really cool. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what's it called? So also we have the, um... We have a new map. It's in Japan. It looks really cool. It's kind of like, um, I forget. It's, it's, I think it's called Manfield. I think it's kind of like that with like more like atmosphere around it to make it more look like it's like in a real like city and it looks really good. I think it looks really, really good. Um, I think that's enough with the map. Oh no, I forgot. We're also getting a brand new um, hoops map, which looks fresh. It looks really good. Um, so away from that, let's transition on to uh, the next topic, which I'll be going over is the decals and like other stuff. So we don't get, um, so we don't get, um, like it doesn't show many new things in the trailer, but it does show a new decal, which looks really good on the Octane. It kind of, it's kind of like a, um, like a multicolor, like, you draw the lines and then you color them with different colors. I have no idea what that is called. I think it's called, like, abstract art or something. Um, but that one, it looks really good. Like, I think it looks fire on the Octane. Um, on the Takumi, we're getting another animated decal, which looks pretty good. It kind of looks like the auger, if any of you guys know what the auger looks like. It kind of looks like the auger from season, I think, one um uh epic season one um apart from that i think that's the only no and we're getting this like blue looking boost um i think it looks really good and um yeah um i think i think the only i think oh okay <laughs> okay we're going into nitpicks now so the first nitpick i have about the season is first the uh the the new car so, you're probably wondering, like, but it's a Civic Type R. It's, like, brand new. We're getting, like, a new car and a real car for the Rocket Pass. Yes, we're getting a real car for the Rocket Pass. That's not the problem. It's the design. If you, if, if any of you have watched the Season 8 uh, trailer or have watched any videos related to the Season 8 trailer or just to Season 8 in general... On the back side of the Civic Type R, there's a big hole to fit the 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 boost, like the the the, the thing coming out. I don't know what it's called, but like it like there's a big hole in the trunk, and it looks ugly. 
hopefully um like that like honestly it looks really bad um quickly back to customization real quick because i forgot this um uh, uh something like oh <laughs> so uh anyway um what's it called with this like gangster type season customization really really cool season we're also getting underglow yeah i honestly i would have never thought we would get underglow in rocket league <laughs> so apparently by the i i'm pretty sure that i've seen this before but in um i think it was season five no no, season four. No, season three. If you saw the rocket, um, like the uh, season rewards, um, and like there was a little showcase of the season rewards on the Rocket League website, there was Underglow on the Octane and the Fennec and all the cars that were showing. I don't know if this is true, but I think that they took that concept and made it and like coded it so that you can move with it. Like that's what I'm thinking. Probably not. I don't even. I don't think that's even what happened, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, I have no idea if that's how it happened, so don't quote me on that. But I'm just wondering, because I do remember the, like, underglow coming from the underside of the car. Um, back to nitpicks really quickly. I, um, what's it called? I think the new Hoop Stadium, it looks decent, but it doesn't look good. Um... So, the first really bad thing I have to say about it is that it kind of looks like it's in, like, a really big backyard, almost. Um, and you can see, like, the big city, kind of. Though it does look really cool, I don't think it really fits. Like, that's the, that's my only problem with that. Like, it doesn't really fit. Obviously, if you were, like, taking it and, like, put it in, like, a park or something, then, yeah, it makes a little bit more sense. But it doesn't, it doesn't fit. Rocket League isn't about its atmosphere. It's more about... It's like about... What's it called? It's about gameplay. It's not about looks. Obviously, it's nice to have good looks, so it's just nice to look at. But it's not about the looks. It's about how the game runs. And, um... Though this Rocket Pass is... Or just this Rocket Pass as a whole is atmospheric as a whole. Um... I feel like it's just going to be harder to run on, like, different consoles, like, Switch my brother has and stuff. And I think that's the main problem. It doesn't just fit with, like, the atmosphere, I feel like. Like, I feel like what they did with the, like, original map just looked a little better. Like, it was in a big stadium and stuff. And it looked really good. Like, that's... It's simple. It's simple. And now we're getting undersimplified. And we're doing all this crazy stuff. I think, honestly, I... I think if they just made the old arena a little bit bigger, kind of to the same size as the old one, or just a little bit bigger so it looks a little bit more like it, I I would, I would, I think that would be okay. Honestly, uh, if it comes to atmosphere, it looks beautiful, the new court. Um, not much more to say. It looks really good, honestly. Um, if you haven't seen the teaser trailer for this season, oh, it's really spicy. It looks it looks really good. Also, a quick thing I want to say about the trailer. The animation is top tier. Hopefully, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description to the original video. Top tier. It looks so good. I haven't seen the animation <laughs> in a trailer look this good. Like, I've seen trailers for movies that look worse. I mean, like, Rocket League animators put a lot of work into, like, a, th like a two minute, like, just two minutes of, what's it called? It's not coming to me. Like, two minutes of showing off things. And it looks really good. Especially the start where, like, um, it's like the Octane is the main character and it's just driving into the city of Japan. And then, like, it meets up with the uh, with three cars, that being the Octane, the Jaeger, and the all-new Civic Type, uh, um, uh, Civic, uh, Type 4, or whatever. Ugh. Oh, my God, now I'm forgetting the name of the car. Um, but, yeah, like, it looks really good. And then, obviously, I think it just comes to gameplay. 
by that part and then there's like a whole like podium part or thing i don't know what it is um anyway you guys can figure this all out when you watch the video if i remember to put it down in the description below but um anyway guys i hope you enjoyed um i'm really sorry hopefully um hopefully i'll um like make a reaction video um jesus this video is 10 minutes long but um yeah hopefully i'll be able to like actually make a reaction video to the actual thing but yeah anyway guys hope you enjoyed also don't forget to follow my other channel thomas the tank engine fan and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya